This is a bourbon cake. It's a really delicious cake and very easy to make. We're going to be making it in a bunt pan. And I'm going to use my new bunt pan, which is the swirly one, but you can use any 10 inch, um, eight cup, I think this is an eight cup bunt pan. And what I've done is I have heavily greased it and floured it. That just helps the cake release a lot better. But I'm gonna put this aside for a moment. And let's talk about the ingredients first. I have three and three quarters of a cup of flour, and to that I'm gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna give that a quick little mix around. And we'll go through all the other ingredients before we start. I have two sticks of room temperature butter. I have two cups of granulated sugar, four whole eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, one and one half cups of sour cream, and then a generous amounted cup of each of chopped walnuts, chopped dates, and chopped maraschino cherries. Now, if you don't like dates, you could use um, raisins in this, but I just adore dates, I just love them. So let's start. We're gonna start by putting our butter into our mixer bowl. Simple cake recipe, but very delicious. Okay, we're gonna put our paddle on there. And as I cream this, I will start adding the sugar. On the mixer for about two minutes. Just get it nice and creamy. Okay, now I'm going to add uh, about half of the flour. But just be careful when you turn the mixer on that you don't turn it on too high now because then you'll get a dust storm. So I'm going to put it on really low. take it off just makes it easy for me to add this the all of the sour cream the one and one half cups of sour cream put that back on the mixer and get that mixed well And now I'll add the balance of the flour. And again, start it off slow. My oven is on at 350 degrees. 
this is a rather heavy cake. It's in the neighborhood of a pound cake. So it's going to take a long bake time, probably 60, 70, up to 80 minutes. But I think the last time I made this, it took about an hour and 20. So just be prepared that it might take a little bit longer. Okay, and now we're gonna add in the nuts, the dates, and the cherries. Now, if you didn't want to add the cherries, you could leave them out. You could change up, you could use pecans in here because we're using bourbon. And that's another thing. I called this the bourbon cake, didn't I? And you're saying, well, where's the bourbon? Well, that's gonna come later on after the cake is baked. And you'll see what I mean. Okay, let's just get way down the bottom there. Turn everything around. Okay, now I'm gonna bring up my pan and I'm going to bake this on a sheet uh, just as a little extra insurance in case there's something that goes over the top and I don't want it all over my oven. If you happen to be using a smaller pan and you have some left over, that's okay. You can do this. You can take the remainder of it and bake it in a cupcake pan or if you have one of those small, tiny loaf pans. Let's see. Because I only want this in there till it's about three quarters of the way up. The last time I made this, this is the first time I'm using this pan. The last time I made this, I made it in a regular bunt pan without the uh, swirly things on it. And so it took a little bit more batter. But that's just fine because I will have a couple of cupcakes left over from here. I just don't want to fill it up so much that it overflows and makes a mess and it just doesn't look as nice. So now, in a 350 degree oven, we're going to put this in, like I said, at least an hour, probably up to an hour and 20 minutes. I'll start testing right after an hour with my toothpick inserted and just see if it comes out clean. So I'll see you back in at least an hour. Here's our cake out of the oven. It's still very, very hot, but this is exactly the way we want it to finish it off. It was in the oven an hour and 18 minutes, so it depends when it skewer went in and it came out clean it was done what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few holes in the cake here and there with the skewer and now I'm going to take a half a cup of orange juice here comes the bourbon a quarter cup of bourbon and one third cup of sugar I'm going to mix that up Now I'm going to pour it over the cake while the cake is really still warm because this is the time it will absorb all of it. And what we're going to do after we do this is this cake is going to have to sit in this pan like this for at least three to four hours before you think of removing it. Now, I know I'm losing some through the hole in the center, but that's okay. This cake will just take its time and soak up the juices. Okay, I'll see you back in about three or four hours when we take the cake out of the pan. Our cake's been sitting around for a few hours now, time to take it out of the pan. What I did is I took a um, thin bladed knife and I just ran it around the edges a little bit to give myself a, a little bit of a guarantee that it, it's going to come out okay. And I just turn this over. And got a few little blips and things here, but that's okay. It looks pretty good otherwise. Um, now, decorate it. 
what do you want to do? There's several things you can do. Um, you can probably come up with some decoration that you might like, but you can take two cups of confectioner's sugar, mix it with like a tablespoon of orange juice and a tablespoon of the bourbon, the same flavors that are in the cake, mix it up and make a glaze and just glaze it all over and then maybe sprinkle it with finely chopped walnuts, which are also in the cake. Up to you. I'm gonna keep it a little bit more simple because I think this cake just has an awful lot of flavor the way it is. So I'm just going to take some regular confectioner's sugar and give it a nice little dusting. And there is my bourbon cake.